If you're a motorsports fan and you've got the need for speed, well, the best thing you can do is get to the track. But we all know that getting onto a proper racing track is not easy on a regular basis. So what is the next best thing you can do? The next best thing is go-karting. All the best Formula 1 racers have come from a background of go-karting. So that is the best way of honing your racing skills. And that's why we are at one of the largest go-karting tracks in India. More specifically, we are at Formula 11, which is in Noida, and it happens to be one of the largest go-karting tracks in India. With a length of about 700 meters, this is a really nice go-karting track. And if you look at the flow of the track, it's got this nice long straight where someone has just made an overtaking attempt. And then it's got about 11 corners. So it's a nice flowing track, which does put your driving skills to the test because just one straight and a series of unending corners. That is where your driving will really be put to test. There is already a lot of excitement when it comes to motorsports in India. It's just that we don't have facilities for us to explore. So this is like an international facility that we've tried opening in India for people to experience a real karting experience and not just karting because karting is a small vehicle with four wheels. So for the creation of the entire facility, we have spent roughly around 10 to 12 crores. Now before we go ahead and get onto the track, let us first get a glimpse of the cars and the machinery that you'll get to use when you come to the Formula 11 track. So now let's talk about these cars. Well, the piece of hardware that is being used at Formula 11 is pretty impressive. What they're using are French carts. These are Sodi carts and uh, all of these have a 270cc petrol engine. So there's not any option as of now that you can choose from. Everyone gets the same kind of cart. A 270cc petrol engine, the power figure is not been disclosed yet, but for the track that you have here for this straight and a constant series of these 11 turns, it's a fairly quick cart. With the current engines that we've installed in the cars, the cars are capable of going up to 120. And uh, also in terms of comfort too, I think it's a pretty nice cart. It gives you a proper open racing feel. And this is precisely why all your motorsport drivers, all the Formula One drivers, they first graduate from go-karting because go-karting is the one place where you can master the way you approach the racing line, what kind of line suits you, how you make your racing lines, how you turn, all of that can be done on these carts. So, of course, the good thing here at Formula 11 is that unlike some other tracks which are really small and have got carts that are just not quick enough to be fun, well, these are fairly quick so you can have fun at the same time because they time your laps you will get all the progress you can get lap by lap times from them so that also allows you to improve your driving so if you plan to come and do go-karting regularly it's a good track with a lot of these turns good piece of hardware you get to know your lap times i think it's a great recipe to improve or hone your driving skills on the track. When it comes to track safety, this transponders play a very important role because when there's a crash in the facility that has happened, all the carts nearby and on the far lane, it all slows down. Whenever there's a speed turn and somebody's trying to act a little smart because again, thanks to India, our thought process is to act smart when we are actually racing and all. So we don't tend to follow the protocols and rules which have been taught to us. So everything is automated. So every cart with the help of transponders and GPS facility, I can slow down every cart at any point in time whenever I feel like. When you see that somebody is crossing limits in terms of uh, speed, in terms of acceleration, in rash driving. So these features and the the quality of the carts that we have we have or we are using, so the R8. Uh, the best carts in the world. Sony has just launched RT10 after RT8. They've just launched RT10, which is coming in the next Formula 11 track that's opening up in Pune and Bombay. Now, after having done one session already at the track, let me give you a brief about how the surfaces and how the cars really are. 
The surface here is really good. It's got a very grippy dark surface. So that really goes well with the nature of these cars. You get a lot of friction and that results in good grip. So if you are a seasoned driver and you can push these cars to its limits, well, you can get a very nice clean line out of these corners and have great fun in the process. So that's that's the kind of surface that we've created, which is a proper tarmac surface for CIK approvals and Sodi World Series. So this is this has certain protocols that's been followed just because we have Sodi running on the track. Second, we have race whistle systems which has certain protocols because there's a first track in India which is complete automated track. And when I say automated track, it's it's been com controlled by GPS. Okay. Uh, it's it's on the satellite of Race Racer. We, it's been operated from Greece, and every single thing on the track has been monitored on through GPS facility. All right. So every cart has been adjust. I mean, every cart has been installed with a transponder. Every barrier has been installed with a transponder. You have a proper start, stop, lap uh, timing and processes which is needed for an international championship. So. Right now, you now already know a lot about this track and the vehicles. Now what we need to do or what we are left with is to go ahead and put in some hot laps and let's see what time we can get. The Sodi World Series, so we are going to start planning our first national championship that's going to happen. But uh, what is going to happen is with F11 tracks that we are creating across India, Pune is launching by April uh, 2023, Bombay is launching by July 2023. And these are exactly the similar size tracks that we are launching in. The reason we are creating this entire track is first because it's, it's my passion, which is why I'm doing it because I want to create something for India. And secondly, once we have these tracks across the nation, then we can start hosting a national championship. Because next year, we have a commitment from Sodi, the national champion of India, the team of national champion of India, from the F11, will be hosting, representing in India and Sodi World Championship abroad, globally. So, that's like a big uh, achievement that, that has happened with our, with our track. And we'll be hosting and so we'll be, we'll be having a Sodi World Championship flag in all our F11 tracks because we have been approved as a member for the championship globally. Uh, Bombay, we are we actually trying to do two Formula 11 tracks because Bombay is a big city, like how Delhi is. For that matter, we tried doing one more track in, in Gurgaon that it is like for both the part of Delhi and NCR. So Noida and Gurgaon, these are like two areas that can capture the entire NCR. So like as we're trying to do one in Bombay, two in Bombay. So one is going to be indoor, one is going to be outdoor. So an indoor will be launching in uh, RTX, which is going to be electric cars of Sodi, honestly. I mean, and those cars are as powerful as the 7 Series BMW. It's so powerful. And so we have a super license program at Formula 11. The so super license program is the membership program, which is going to get started very soon. It's going to create a, a community of license holders for Formula 11 which is going to give them access to a lot of private events and private things happening at the property which will only be for members. So it is, it's more like a private event being hosted for the members. So you feel like you're part of the community of, of the champions in India. Mm -hmm. 